Hey there, welcome to day 93 of our Let's Grow Annual Challenge. Sharon horn I'm here, and today we're talking about physical growth. We've moved on to, I'm going to put my cup down, the physical area and aspect of our life and growing in that area. And today we're going to talk about, and we're going to think about, and we're going to come up with as our action item, what are your top three most important core values with respect to your physical well-being and health? Remember, we've we're going to cover all of these this year. We're going to spend a month focusing on each area and aspect of a life framework that I've used since the 1980s, with the exception of communication and confidence, which I added in 2021, following the crazy pandemic and all of the things that happened as a result of that. It kind of blew up a lot of the world and how we think and how we work and how we uh, interact with one another, how we treat one another, which uh, I'm not going to say that the vast majority of that was was positive because it hasn't been. It's caused a lot more divisiveness and separation. It's the exact opposite of what we want as we're growing and becoming better versions of ourselves. So we're going to brainstorm and come up with a bunch of core values with respect to our, our physical being, our physical well-being, our health, our vitality. Maybe it's energy, um, how you show up in the world, however you want to describe it. Like one of my most important ones, and I haven't done this yet, but we're going to come up with our top three, is that I have the energy and the stamina and the vitality to keep up with my granddaughters. They're uh, soon to be nine. She, my, my oldest granddaughter is eight right now. My second granddaughter just turned three and my third granddaughter just turned one. So they have a lot of energy, a lot more energy than their 64-year-old grandma. I just turned 64, by the way, this last month. So how do I maintain my health and my energy in order to keep up with them? That's one of my core values. It's one of the most important things to me. So how do I describe that? How do I put into words what that core value is to me? That's what today's uh, action item and challenge is all about. Now, <clears throat> we've done a lot of work on core values if you've worked with me at all. But if you don't have any idea where to start, just Grab your cell phone or got, hop on your computer and Google or whatever search engine you choose to use and say physical growth core values. And it will get you examples of other people. So you can model and you can say, yes, I agree with that. That feels right for me. Or no, I don't agree with that. That That isn't one of mine. You know, maybe having a 10 body is one of your core values. Definitely not mine, right? <laughs> Obviously, I like my caramel too much. So uh, what? are the most important components for you in creating the physical growth, the physical health that you want and the physical well-being that you want to have based on the definition that you set for yourself yesterday. Guide 2, of course, has a write-up about this as well as I think it's Janet's story today, but don't hold me to that if I'm telling you the wrong name. I might have uh, changed it at the last minute. I do that sometimes. I'm like, nah, I don't want that one. So there's a story there of applying this concept, how she goes about and went about determining what her physical growth core values are, as well as a write-up of, of a process of how you can identify your core values if you've never done this exercise before. That's it. If I can help you anyway, ask. If you've got any questions about this, if you're like, well, is this really a core value? Uh, hit me up. Otherwise, have a fantastic day. I'll be doing mine right along with you. And if I can help you, I would be glad to. Otherwise, I'll force you to see you tomorrow.